right, so we're at the USS NC battleship. Science says phase two hull rest, uh, restoration. So let's uh, go in and check this out, see what we got going on in this place. All right, as we uh, board the ship here, this is what you see. I believe that's your uh, 40 millimeter anti-aircraft. Um, we come back this way, you've got 20 millimeter gun mounts. This is the aft or back of the ship. got one of those seaplanes sitting up here as part of the uh, awesomeness on board. We got some more guns back here on the back. They have a basically a deck, a walkway all the way around with more information on it that you can walk and learn from. But we are basically all the way to the back of the ship, and this is uh, what it looks like. Or this may be the front of the ship. I don't know, one or the other. That's pretty impressive. So they have. Uh, this is working. Great photo opportunity while you're on the ship. Still main deck here. You see all the different types of guns behind. This is your shell. Shout out the main guns on the front. 16 inch armor piercing projectile. A little bit of a breakdown of some information. Reached 21 miles. Left the barrel at 2,300 foot per second. That's 1,560 miles an hour. That huge thing right there. All right, this is information on the big guns. A little bit of a breakdown of different sections. Look at that extra set of stairs, man. Holy smoke. Extra set of stairs. That was fun lifting around. Yeah, this thing's huge. All right, everybody, I'm descending. Woo! You gotta turn the little dial. Oh, I'm okay, I'm good. Descending the turret. Watch your head. It was a blast in there. It must have been very small people putting the bullets in that thing. That's the inside of the main gun on the front. Ooh, let's see what else we can find. Some medical stores, all kinds of medicine. One of my best friends is a dentist. Dark room, dentist office. You should get a job from the CIA. So, dentist office, a couple little chairs in here, keep them rocking. Dark rain. Oh, Lavatory. That's what he said. Dispensary. He said ten. Ten. That's where you get all your meds from. Right? He said five would kill the friendly five. Doctor's office. I guess sleeping 200 to a room that size yeah. and using the bathroom, I guess it would be some friendly fire. Oh, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, wouldn't that be bad in there? 200 <laughs> people fart on each other. Oh, oh my God. It's like <laughs> surgery in here. Yes. <laughs> wow. If you were sick, this is where you stayed. Might be a good thing because there's a whole lot less people in here. Yes. 
<laughs> Look, you get your own fridge. <laughs> Sick Bay had their own bathroom. That's so they can kind of quarantine one sickness from another or if there was something where the doctors needed to keep them close to keep a check on them. Uh oh, warrant officers mess. Officer state rooms, Admiral Flag Office, Supply Department Office, and Gunnery Office. Coming up. So this is the warrant officer's mess hall. If you look at the picture here, they have a nice setup. They had fans, lights, radio, they could play cards. There should be communication with the bridge. Officers had it made. He had a comfy bed. He wasn't had 200 people farting in his room. Everything. All right. Set up. Wow. The medical officer. The queen size. He looked like he was in jail. Nice. The Marine guy has talked to. Medical officer. Yeah. Not bad. It's a small bed, but not bad. At least you got your own area. They kept the jar head in the cage, Dad. Yeah, sorry. It's probably your communications. I'm gonna need a drink, see. But I'm not paying $14.99 for it. Uh, I don't think so. That was the Marine uh, Detachment. That's where they would be. Yeah, the officers definitely got nice, uh, nice quarters. You can put a quarters. Yeah, you can put a quarters. Switches. Crazy. You don't have typewriters in the flag room, ladies and gentlemen. This is with the mimeographs pencil sheets. They were trying to decrypt stuff here. They say it's the flag office, but we don't have typewriters in here. Illuminati confirmed. Zoom in on that piece of paper and see what's that. I know it ain't nothing important, but. Typewriter rules. They didn't have type rules with a typewriter. and financial section. That's pretty cool. My dad's a jarhead and they kept the jarheads in the cage back there. I was told in my video. I says, Dad, I'm sorry. The other officers had a nice big bed and they had like hard rock things with rocks on them because the jarheads sleep on the ground. <laughs> My 
My dad's gonna kick my ass. I'm tagging in that video. Can you make something like that? With the oh yeah. Definitely. Like, you wouldn't want to laser engrave that. Yeah, you'd want a year and a half. You'd want to CNC that. Yeah, you'd want to 3D print it and pour it Don't in metal or CNC up. it, one or the other. End of low deck tours. Hey y'all. Exit up main ladder. Thank the Lord. All right. No Here we go. Back in the danger zone again. Yeah, it's uh, decorative rope. This, this stuff coated in wax. Ship so you know what it's like. I don't know, but I mean, I sleep in there. I'd sleep in there. I mean, six months in that little tiny room. Might Greg, get old. look at you. A scorpion yesterday. <laughs> That's not much different than a cruise ship, I mean, right? Somebody shut the door off. So you crack your stay in there. And here we are back out on the main deck. Looking around. Pretty sure these are the 20 millimeter. Um, this is your. Yeah, anyway. So they can drop it and keep the ship in place. Give you some idea how big that chain is. I wear a size 12, so it's longer than my foot. So I'd say 16, 18 inches each link. Feeds down through here. we we'll drop off over here. Make a big slash. So we started on the other end of the ship and now we're on this end.
Watch your head. So they have lower deck tours. So let's go down and see what it looks like. It's your hatch so you can make it waterproof. Sorry, your thing coming up just so you don't knock yourself out. like the uh, mess hall and kitchen area. and some candles and flags. So I'd say this is your worship area or prayer area if you were so inclined to uh, do that kind of thing. The bread room. writing but they're actual writing that they took pictures of that's kind of neat all right engine room go in here see if we can see where the power is made Some 
old school looking lockers right there, buddy. That's pretty cool. Fresh water system, operating instructions. I don't know if y'all be able to read that. Looks like a big old brass plate though. That's pretty cool. For you scrappers out there. Look at that brass. <laughs> Stainless. Oh wow, I guess this how they load the smaller guns. What the familiar for them K12 mod. 105. 55 pounds. So this looks like I think it may be a little bit smaller. But when I was in the military, we shot cannons at 105 millimeter. Well, and this looks pretty close to the, the round itself. Yeah, let's see if we can give you some comparison here. Oh, there you go. It's got a glare on it, but hey, heck. Check this out. So this would be dark. your, yeah. This is your powder charge. So your your round goes in and your powder goes behind the round and then they shoot it. It's not like regular ammo, like, you know, it's all in one and made as one. It's, it's separate. The projectile and the powder is separate. But, I'll record these. It's the voices of the original people. Okay. The voices of the original people. Oh, this one talks about getting hit with a torpedo. So we're going to go down there. So we can go. All right. So as you can see, that ladder's tiny in your doorway. Always are big enough for what they're needed for, but they are not built for comfort. Comfort, by no means. We always say we're hobbling and crippled and half old. Speak for yourself. I'm all the way old. I was talking about being green, not half old. All right, I said it again. Hmm. Deep. Ice machinery deep. free on. That's what she said. Smell it? Ugh. Isn't that trendy? Oh, you're not supposed to have three cameras in your hand when you're rotating down the stairs. Yeah. Okay, that's compressors. Struggles we do for <coughs> three hours. No. Struggles are real. Oh my goodness. That's pretty big down here. No more worrying about knives in my head. Going down. Again. Oh yeah. Hey, just think we have to climb all back up all these somewhere. Oops. <laughs> Maybe there's another thing. Oh, Whew, that's a small spot. This huge in here. That's a beast down here, buddy. Man. There's a movie on this side. Movie. So I never was too awful fond of the uh, grate flooring where you can see underneath. Look at all the wiring and conduit. and wheels, panels.
So it's kind of like a, a gearbox or something. Looks like brass pipe. Wow. So for any scrappers that are watching, why would you use brass and self copper for piping? It would be my assumption, but you know how that is. Brass is stronger, it can hold more pressure than running copper. So for anybody that's not a scrapper, that might be uh, new information for you. But us that scrap, we kind of we kind of know the difference in our metals and and why you would use one over over something else. Which I mean, brass has got a lot of copper in it, but it's got some other metals in it as well to help make it harder. So you got a high pressure and a low pressure turbines. Tells you steam supply. So it's saying ran off steam. Huh? The camera said you didn't break. Can you imagine how hot it would be down here? Steam engines and turbines and Production gear, weighed 140,000 pounds. Good, dude. Oh, is that the big GE symbol? Or no, we're going to that side. That's a meat grinder right there, buddy. Good day. And you want to talk about a a butcher block or a meat block? Cut your meat on. That's a that's a real one. It's pretty cool. 
pretty neat. Yeah, it's really nice. Hamburger maker. Here's your cutter. I love these. I bet you they had to polish these things. You got in trouble. Polish all the water. <laughs> Seen these doors. So okay, go ahead. These doors are for um, all these doors can be closed. Can be pressurized, so they can pressurize everything. There's seals in them, so they can close them and pressurize from room to room when they're out on the sea. Uh, in case something happens, like you get hit by a torpedo or something. It's not an immediate flood through the whole ship. They can shut rooms down, close them off, and seal them because each thing is pressurized. Uh, I got, I think, two uncles that was in the Navy, and uh, they said that if somebody would open one of these doors that was pressurized at the same time that somebody would open the door on the other side to go through a hallway or something, they'd catch quite a quite a surprise as one would open and, and the other would shut. This is just a little mess hall where you get your food and stuff. Apparently their chickens are bigger back then. No, I'm just kidding. That's probably a turkey leg, but <laughs> anyway. That's where everybody come through to get their food. more cooking area ovens food prep potato batch griddles oh yeah I look like potato beans to me yeah bowl and potatoes with a team they could serve everybody on this side all these look like they're made out of brass that's pretty neat that's all the attachments that go in the big there you go That thing would never break. Yeah. So they boil the taters in them big old bins and then just turn them up, man. I'm going to call Ma and send her a picture until I found her a new mixer. Yeah, that thing is uh, <laughs> uh, a three-phase motor. Yeah. Than mine. We're feeding six kids. Those, <laughs> the ones you buy, they're supposed to be commercial yeah. grade. We still yeah. break them. Yeah. They yeah. can't hold up. <laughs> that thing is a Like they did a little floor repair there. They're slowly catching up. There's an air conditioner going over here. I'm standing up. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We got to. Don't want to short nobody nothing. The rest of the galley over there. Vegetable lacquer. Yeah, we do mostly gold prospecting. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what vegetables are, but um, I'm sure to show y'all. I take that back. I'm more of a meat and taters kind of person, but you know. I think stuff like this is really cool though. We got Jericho over here live. Give us some behind the scenes teasers to come check out that 4K. That's right. Dirty dishes. Love this. We're on the giant fishing ship. Oh, yeah. Let's get over here.
definitely had plenty of room to eat and stuff. Now I know there's a lot of people on the ship, but it's nice to see stuff that's more open and more relaxed. All right, so we're showing Masters at Arms over here. Looks like an old newspaper. I bet you that thing's worth a whole lot of money if that's real. Camel cigarettes, what? I've never seen a typewriter like that. That's pretty neat to see. We're right here off the edge of the mess hall. So this kind of gives you some information on your crew memories. The uh, police petty officer badge. A whole lot of cool stuff. Very cool, man. Ship store. Grab him, Grandpa. Yeah, run down the hatch. Tell you what, that's pretty tight fit. The coolest part of the ship. It's the coolest part of the ship. <sighs> the ice machine gang kept the refrigerators working. Cold storage compartments were open daily at six and thirteen hundred hours. That's pretty neat. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. Wow. That is a lot. I just keep seeing all this brass. <laughs> I think this is the brake. I feel like this is the brake. It's the ice machine room. We got some motors up here. And these are uh, these look like compressors. Somebody upstairs ringing the bell. They must be hungry. Ringing the bell. Room service. Oh. Each room had a single bell. Ringing the oh. ice machine. Watch your step. A ice machine ringing. Here's another head knocker panel. This is all uh, refrigerant coolers. Yeah. Another refrigerator. That's meat. The meat. That's the meat from. Original meat. 74,000 pounds. Magnet fish. Fresh meat. meat. So that's Lamb, frankfurters, <laughs> homeless meat, liver, poultry, pork, loin, pork, sausage. Twenty-three thousand pounds. 
that we still in this closet. And if you want to see her twerk, check out one of my most recent shorts. 101,000 eggs. Really? Wow, 101,000 eggs. Oh, it's still the Check out my shorts. Get back up here. This is where I would want to work. Hey, I was twerking in my shorts, okay? I would want to work here. <laughs> For sure. Definitely would want to work here in this part. Yeah. Put me in the refrigerator, by God. That's right. Quick. All right, I'm checking for the mail y'all sent me. Is it here yet? Mail room. I think it's my box. I might have some silver in it. Mail room. Yeah, right? <laughs> Chocolate bars and candy. Cigarettes, Chesterfields, non-filters. Lucky Strike, Camel. Non-filters, Chesterfields. Garbage grinder. It's a garbage grinder, it's pretty cool. You drop your garbage in the top, it falls into the grinder. Ice cream area. What? So I'm gonna drop this QR code for y'all so you can scan it. It says Battleship North Carolina has launched Discover the Showboat, a city at sea, a collection of video tours presented by our program volunteers. Use a QR reader on your phone, download a QR code reader, and enjoy your new program. So I'll probably, uh, Drop that in there for y'all somewhere. See? Could you imagine? Somebody's feet right here and your head right there. Be hollering at you, buddy. Get your feet out of my face, man. Them, them dogs is barking. What? <laughs> what? You're sleeping up top, you're a tight. Yeah. I don't want the top bump. That's a long crawl, too. There's the shower shoes. Two hundred men in each cracker. Like 200, 200 to each bathroom to each one of these wow you better time when you gotta go i love the polished brass Love it. It's the sinks. I'm getting further away from. I'm sure a lot of people just peed in it, uh, knowing, uh, knowing guys. And uh, this looks like the uh, the bathroom area there, where you'd have a seat and handle what you need to handle. 
Toilet paper hung above your head. How about that? I'm gonna do that at home. <laughs> uh, oh, they had stand up urinals back then, too? Uh oh, privacy over here. That's right, you lost that when you joined the Navy. That's the showers. So you had to stroll through the bathroom naked in front of everybody. Yeah. Go take your shower and stuff. That's the way it was in boot camp when I was there too. And some when I was on active duty. I don't know which way to go here. Yo! Right? That's different, right? Yeah. Toilet That's paper over here. Is that how they are on the ships? Oops, like that. I don't know. I've never never been on one. I don't know how they are now. I hope they're modified by now. But I mean, you That's wash your hands up. over here while yeah, you're washing you get them. Washing them yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like crazy. Man. Man. And be like, don't quit looking at me. Yeah, you wash your hands. You're like, hey, buddy, you okay over there? In your hand? You weren't very comfortable. <laughs> That's too funny. Shower. Privacy oh, lost. Join the baby. No. Yeah, people, people just don't understand the sacrifices. As you're walking along, you always gotta make sure you don't trip on that bottom because there's right. a little bit of a step. Yeah. Ooh. Night vision. Battleship. Intended general illumination and darkened ship conditions. 1930s call for blue globes. Huh. Cool. check it out because we've got lots of footage look at all these cameras going there's cameras everywhere that's right so if you want to see it this is behind the scenes it peace out river trout i'm gonna leave that up for more teas and then that's it they oh officers galley this is where and they i got 42 watch hours from fix that food there. and there's enough people there all that awesome out. stuff Oh, you want to go down that? That's no. what's there. No, I was in your chat. <laughs> I'm so warm. Officer's area. I'm very warm. Sterilizer room. Ooh, you got to do some deep sea diving there. Dive gear locker. Coat locker and exhaust. Dive gear locker. I hope it'd be more room in there to put all that stuff on. Just saying. 